Hi friends, this is Subfrozen. In this presentation, we are going to be considering StatProvia 8 and RCDC by using the RCDC to design the reinforced concrete member that has been analyzed by StatProvia 8. And so we will be considering the columns. We will be considering the column and the beam design. All right, as well as the slab. Okay, so straight away we want to dive into the lesson, but bear in mind that this uh, structure is a residential structure and we have carried out the analysis of this structure successfully in the last two lessons. So you can check the lesson out for better understanding. Alright, so having this structure analyzed now, we want to take note of the name of this project. This is G plus 3 building design. Alright, take note of this name because we are going to be closing this so as to be able to start RCDC because if you did not close it RCDC men will not respond okay so we will once again take note of the name of the project and then click on closed to close the project now now we get to RCDC this one double click on it to start it so you accept this the version of RCDC I'm using is RCDC version 8. So this is the start page. It's very important. We give the project a name. We call it a tree story. Building. All right, for the client, name is Gale and the engineer is soft. Okay, for the design code, we will be considering Build at all zero, and then we proceed to import the analysis data. Click in this provision, and it will take you to this directory. And this is the name of the project G plus three building design. All right, click and open it right away. So, once it is opened, you can see the design elements here. What do you want to design? Do you want to design pie cap? Do you want to design footings? Do you want to design columns? Now we want to look at columns at first, so you select columns right away. And then click on to create new project. Give the program some seconds to create new project successfully. Alright, so new project has been created successfully. These are the columns layout and the dimension, 3 meter, 3 meter, alright. So if you want to save this, you can click on save right away and it will take you and help you to be able to save it in the DSF file so you can open it with AutoCAD, alright. What we need to do, we go to the level data and then the concrete materials, we are going to be changing them for the these provisions, we'll be using uh, concrete strength of 20 right for the design for the strength of steel we'll be using 410 for the design so these provisions it is this place you can be able to make these changes apart from here you won't be able to make these changes again while designing columns okay so for the concrete cover of columns is 25 or 30 so we'll be considering 30 mm as the concrete cover all right having changed that successfully we will proceed to settings and then design settings in these provisions, if you want to add any uh, material property, come to this place, click on add, and then you can be able to impute in the one that you think is not in this provision, in this uh, ROCDC. You can add your own. And for these other provisions, design settings, you just have to leave it at default. And then click on OK. Go back to setting again, reinforcement settings. Click right there. In these provisions, you can be able to check the column rebar the minimum and the maximum for the minimum in this design i uh, will want it to be 16 diameter and then the maximum i uh, will want it to be 32 diameter all right so, so for the shear wall rebar uh, we'll be considering 10 and i uh, will consider 12 for that then the lengths i will be using 10 all right so you make sure all what you have selected here all the diameter here is being checked in these provisions so if you fail to check it it will not uh, be able to be effective so you have to check all what you selected here, all right? After which, you leave every other provisions at default, click on OK. All 
right, that is effective. Go back again to settings. This time around detailing and drawing settings. Click right away. So in this provisions, you come straight away to Rebar Mark Manager. So I will prefer using the prefix of the Rebar to be Y instead of T for both share and main reinforcement. Just like this. Click on OK. And OK again. Go back to setting again and for basic load cases click right away so in this provisions you have the air which is the dead load if you click here in the drop down select dead load right away and take it to these provisions okay ll1 life load select it right away these are the load we use during the analysis okay this is a uh, roof load so you choose that and take it to these provisions click okay this will take you to load combinations just click on add from analysis okay so you can see uh, the factors that has been added successfully click on ok to accept that now go straight away to design tab and click on auto design click right away give the program some second to auto design the columns successfully so the column has been designed successfully as you can see uh the sizes okay it's 25 by 25 and these are the uh, necessary materials of the columns all right so if any column is failing and you want to redesign it you can't also redesign it as well okay all right so if you want to print um the summary this design summary you can print that and this one is the design calculations of the columns if you click right away and you to ask you to select let me just let's see one and click on okay this will generate the design uh calculation for column c1 so this is the design calculations right away you can save it as well click on these provisions okay to save this design all the check necessary check has been done successfully all right go back to the column design if you want to see the sections of the columns you come straight away to this tab where you see detailed drawings so click right away and then you can select all the columns and then click on ok give the program some seconds to be able to um draw all the column sections successfully all right the column sections are ready so if you zoom it in you will have this this how it is these are the materials we use in the design okay and this is the sections you can also print this out in autocad format just click on this position save but by then it will prompt you to save the project so we click on okay you have to save the project here first if you click on this provision to save this project uh maybe in this provisions you give it a name as columns design all right just like this click on save in that provisions after the process is uh completed you can now click on this save right away to be able to save it as a dsf file which can be opened in autocad all right so this is how you design your columns successfully so let's go back so we can be able to design the beam so you go back to new again all right so this will take you to new one thing in this program so for the beam design uh one thing in uh rcdc you will need to repeat re-input the uh the projects so we just have to type in the project to be three story building all right and then for the clients we will also need to fill in the provisions as well as the engineer all right followed by the the code of practice bs8110 and then we will import the analyze structure by clicking in that provisions which we take us to this place the name is g plus 3 building designs and then you open it right away after which design elements we are going to consider is beam all right and take note you will have to choose only one so uh, just ensure you take only one level okay so we have beam at level three which is the first floor beam we have beam at level six which is the second floor beam and then we have beam at level uh this level nine meter which is the roof beam so we want to be considering uh level uh three beam okay so we get that select and then click on create project So the project is created successfully you can see so this is the general uh, first floor beam arrangement 
and so you can save it by clicking in this provision to save it but by then you need to save this as a project okay so you can see this is a first floor beam design just like that and then you save after this layout is saved successfully you cannot be able to export the, all of this to AutoCAD Just click in these provisions and then you can see DSF give it a name and then navigate to the provisions where we need to save it and click on save in AutoCAD then after which you now start to carry out some of the important settings this is the beam in continuous pattern all right and this is beam in grouping all right so you come to settings so you can be able to set the general settings that has to do with the reinforcement okay so we want the minimum the member the minimum should be 16 the maximum should be uh, 32 then the share bar the share the minimum should be 10 all right and for these provisions it should also be 10 the person the program will select the person that will suit the design so you don't have to uh, worried about that okay for the cover you can see it is uh, 25 we are going to consider all right and then the maximum aggregate size is also 25 you can also consider 22 all right and then the concrete grade we will be considering grades uh, 25 and then 410 all right if you don't see your concrete grade in this provision you can click here to add uh, the concrete grade that is not there all right so that is how it works after which click on okay and go back to setting again this time around way back containment in this provision leave everything at default click on okay go back to setting again detailing android settings in these provisions we have to come to rebar mark manager and then the prefix i normally want it to be y all right for the main reinforcement and the share and as well as the second share reinforcement you get that and then in this you leave all of this at uh, default click on ok alright come again these provisions and choose basic load cases alright so the DL is the dead load in the drop down menu select dead load and pull it to these other provisions and then for the lav load prompt it pull it to the primary load cases provisions and as well as the roof load just like this ok then click on ok click on add from analysis click right there and these are the factors okay all right so after having that done you will now set to design okay click right away auto design give the program some seconds to auto design the first floor beam successfully all right so you can see the first floor beam is being designed successfully all right so you can see the size is, is two to five by 450 these are the materials on the bottom left you can see the the meat you can see the bottom right all right so everything designed successfully we want to look at the design calculations you can come straight away to design calculation for the drawings and as well you can also print the uh, bill of quantity if you use this tab right away click right there for the drawing and elevations of the beams select all the beams and then you can choose cross sections okay cross beam all right details and drawing settings we were here before so we are able to set uh one or two things in this provision before we started the design okay so you can click on okay all right so for this should mark anchorage and then uh cross sections uh, elevations um choose this one cross section beams or just use cross section only show section mark click right there click on ok and it will be able to uh, draw the the beams successfully so these are the beams you can see this is the cross section of the beams this scale one is 225 right for the share reinforcement it uses y10 okay for the bottom and top use y16 so this is how it looks okay so you want to export this to autocad very easy click right there and this will be saved in autocad the same process the same procedure you will use for the 
Rufdin. Okay. So this is how we produce columns and din successfully using start via head and arrow CDC. I'll bring the lesson to a stop here. Stay tuned, like the lesson, subscribe for more subsequent advanced lessons. Bye for now.